Okay. <clears throat> this bit. Huh. October 30th, 2018. Damn near Halloween. Gold Silver with Mike Maloney. American Bread and Circus. Hidden Secrets of Money, Episode 10. He's speaking with a, an Italian uh, restaurant owner. Right here. <laughs> if you wanna, if you wanna see this, please, by all fucking means, if you wanna understand anything I've said about the government needing to fucking die, just watch the entire ten or so videos in that playlist. The Hidden Secrets of Money by Gold Silver with Mike Maloney. I'm not going to do a clip because I watched uh, I, I watched 8, 9, now I'm watching 10. And it doesn't rhyme with what ancient Rome did. It's an exact copy and paste. Just grammatically restructured and the aesthetics are different. It's like getting a skin pack for Minecraft. It's the same damn game. It just looks different. And it's a different day that you're playing the same damn game. <clears throat> I skipped watching 1 through 7. Because we're already well past that. And this this is stuff I've known for 15, 16 years. And why I go at it through gaming is because all of null. Mike, if you get to see this, it's a mathematic term. Look it up. All if null, although it's not infinity, nothing is infinite. Trust me on that one. Nothing is infinite. Not time, mass, not space, not velocity, nothing, nothing is infinite. Not even this circle jerk fallacy. You know what the fuck I'm talking about, Mike. The idea, the psycho fuck idea of money or currency or value d from gold, silver, or any fucking rock you dig out of the ground, it's a circle jerk fallacy. Th that's all it is. And for everyone else, I'm just watching it all play out right now. I'm watching the whole fucking system just collapse in on itself and implode. I knew it was going to happen for fucking ages. Fucking years. I've known it was going to happen. I've known that <laughs> the fucking American system is too corrupt to exist. Speaking of cheap sugar only difference for me is uh, I'm not bombed out of my gourd on fucking pharmaceuticals I'm not so fucking numb to the reality because I went to a psychiatrist and uh, indoctrinated myself and enslaved myself to the latest fucking religion and went off and got drugged out of my fucking skull that's the biggest difference between me and you Americans. The vast majority of you are fucking drugged out of your minds. And what happens? What happens in the current situation? It's going to happen. It is happening right now. As I'm speaking, it's already happening. What happens when you're fed this drug? 
It makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you're just sleepwalking through life. Like everything's fine when it's not. Like watching somebody get shot in the head down the street is just another fucking day at the office. What happens when that drug goes the fuck away? Because certain psychiatric drugs are going to be put on a list. Within the next few days, probably. Probably in the next few days. If not, that is already happening as I speak. Certain drugs are going to be put on a list. Not to be distributed. Not to be given out. Certain, um, certain mood elevators, certain um, antidepressants that have a, um, a higher thought of suicide count attached to them. Some of these drugs that have you all bombed out of your fucking minds are going to be put on do not distribute lists. And the rich assholes... The top point zero 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 one percent are going to be chucking the whole bottle in their private little fucking bunkers while they slowly rot and die. During the World War III that's about to happen. If you don't like how real that is, fuck you. Reality doesn't give a shit about your personal opinion. The truth doesn't give a fuck if you exist or not. It's still going to record that you existed or you died. End of fucking story. The truth and reality do not give a fuck about your existence. Or your personal fucking opinions. Or what you think. Or what you choose to believe. The truth is that the situation is an exact copy and paste from what happened with Rome. Where the fuck is Rome today? Ancient Rome is fucking ruins. Ruins that are empty. Ruins that only have tourists. And at this point, don't even have that. It's nothing more than a memory of something that happened. See, America, you, you carry your fallacy with you. That thing that's so easy to fit in the palm of your hand, that bottle of pills, that's your Roman fallacy, or your Greek fallacy today. That's the equivalent of your fallacy from back then. If you don't know what a fallacy is, it's a dick with wings on it. It's a statuette. That's what it is. And ancient Romans or Greeks thought that it would protect them. And today, you think that those those pills you pop will protect you, but they won't. You think that your government or your almighty dollar bill will protect you. It's a fallacy. It's a joke. It's not real. It's all a con game from someone's imagination. It was conjured into existence because someone wanted to control someone else. That's all that it is. That's all it's ever been. And if any history looks back on these days, if any YouTube videos about these things, even from Mike's channel, Gold and Silver with Mike Maloney, even if any of that survives, who the fuck's going to be able to interpret it? Because they're sure as fuck not going to use a broke-ass bitch language like American English. And I'm not even going to go into how fucked up American English is. It's just shit. There's no phonetic spelling... Grammatic structure is just fucking ass backwards. And that's just a cursory glance over. That's not the point of what I'm trying to make here. The point I'm making is that right now, 
We're up to episode 10. Probably even beyond it. It's just been stretched out. Or it feels like it's been stretched out because everyone's on drugs. The bread and circus that uh, ancient Rome had where everyone was drunk watching the gladiators. Look at what the fuck you assholes do with baseball, hockey, football, soccer. Look at that shit. Same damn difference. You're watching a gladiatorial sport. You're watching a sport. You're sitting there drinking beer, eating hot dogs, your bread and circus. Same damn difference. It's just got a, a different Minecraft skin pack thrown over the top of it. It's the same all if null of society holistically. And boom, it's time to wake the fuck up. Because you got a rude ass fucking reality waiting for you. Oh yeah, I forgot. Fuck off.